Meanwhile, on September the 12th, a broken water pipe in Coffers Cove flooded a few homes on Carlton Drive. Now one woman is facing thousands of dollars in restoration charges that the city refuses to cover. Six News reporter Nicole Sheeran is at the Cove City Hall meeting tonight where that woman plans to speak to council members about why they won't pay up. Chris, almost three weeks have gone by and the city of Copperas Cove has continued to claim immunity to help pay for a broken water pipe that caused damages to multiple homes on Carlton Drive and residents continue to stay frustrated. Robbie Marion has lived in Cove for 40 years. On September 12th, she called DynaClean Professional Services in a panic as water was flooding her entire home. The temple based company made the decision to take the case despite her insurance refusing to pay the claim. General Manager Luis Hernandez said there are around $5,200 worth of services to Marion's home. Hernandez hopes she can receive coverage for the services, but his main goal is to help repurpose her home and ensure a safe living space. And if we if they don't get coverage, we just let them know not to sweat it, not to worry about it, pay what you can. And if you, what you can't, don't worry about it. We're we're, we're just going to let it go. So so we're on their side. You know, we want to help them out and, and we're grateful. Copperas Cove City Council is holding a meeting as we speak. Robbie Marion is here to express her frustrations and have her voice heard. Tune in at 10 to hear what she has to say. But for now in Copperas Cove, I'm Nicole Sheeran. All right, Six we look News. forward to Nicole's report coming up at 10 o'clock.